packed up, loaded up in the mother-in-law's car, getting ready to head off to the airport. <laughs> <sighs> I can't wait. Exciting. So exciting. <laughs> Wrong accent. It's exciting. It's so <laughs> exciting. Go. Gotta get over there. Let's Have a lot go. of fun. Am I in no, the back? No, I'm not in the back. He's not oh. gonna fit in the back. You're making me ride shotgun? Oh, bloody hell. If you want in the back, you can. I just didn't sit there. Well, I haven't had a Xanax yet. <laughs> and your mom's driving. Oh. Hey, honey. Yeah. Where are we going? Australia. <laughs> Nobody told. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we just got through security and Shelly is held up with her carry-on. They scanned it and then they opened it up and it looks like they went all through it. And I don't know what they're looking for, what they think that they've found <laughs> that my wife is bringing. But she's still over there. They're over there doing their thing. Usually because she's had a knee replacement, she's the one who gets a pat down or something. Or, you know, she'll have residue from the rivets on her jeans or something like that. She gets it. Well, she didn't get that this time. Well, they're making up for it with the suitcase. Wow. This is weird. Stay tuned. Okay, so apparently <laughs> she was trying to smuggle hot sauce into Australia. I was trying to get it for my brother. <laughs> she bought this Christmas present for her brother who lives in Australia two year, year and a half ago. <laughs> And was trying forgot to bring that it. it was hot sauce. Forgot that it was hot sauce. Because it was already wrapped. <laughs> so it was, yeah, all in the Christmas paper. So they had to unwrap everything and find out. Okay, this. But the problem is, is it's hot sauce and it's past the fluid ounces that you're allowed to bring. <laughs> Oops. So that was the stop. It's always something. If that's the the biggest hiccup we have on this trip, we will We're consider right. ourselves very, very happy. Letting them know that we're in LA. Oh. We're in LA. It is about what is it midnight? It's midnight Detroit time. So ten o'clock LA time. Past our bedtime. <laughs> yeah. The flight. The first flight was. It was. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It was hot. It was a little warm. And I had an armrest that, because I was on the aisle, there's an armrest that doesn't go up. And so I have a permanent divot in my thigh that is very tender at the moment. And now we're just waiting to board for, for a 15 hour flight to Sydney. I don't know why I agreed to this. Because you love me. First place we ended up. We haven't gone through anything yet. <laughs> no customs, no passport checks. But look. We're just here to buy stuff. But look, they have Legos and the duty free. <laughs> this place rocks. The We're in the duty free shop and shall we found the candies. The yum box. <laughs> Equivalent anyways. Uh -huh. Look, it's all sorts of yummies. Yeah. We're getting two for 18. Australian dollars. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> also getting some booze for other people, some smell goods for me. And a headphone jack for me. And a headphone jack for me. <laughs> <laughs> get to see 
<laughs> All right, we're here. It's a little tight. We're officially here in uh, Down Underland. <laughs> and I'm on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> it's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> if you think you're, uh, you're freaking out now, wait till I start driving. Oh, oh lord. Oh, Nothing is worse than my mom's <laughs> yeah. driving. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? I don't want. Really? I don't want to dare her. So. <laughs> mom. Sorry. Whoa. On the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Australian for Burger King. True story. He came over my head and took my burger and bit my thumb. <laughs> Little bastards. These are the people that I'm here with. It's them. And they're all sick. They've all had colds. They've all been saving them up for us when we get here. See? They're all very proud of it. Very proud of it. You call that hospitality? Hello friends, how's it going? Me, I'm sleepy. Just wanted to talk about a couple things. It's getting towards the end of our first day here in Australia. We landed uh, about a quarter to seven in the AM, Australia time. This was after flying for being in the air including air and layover in L.A., 24 hours. We left at about, it's around 6 Eastern time. So then 24 hours put us here a little before 7 uh, Sydney time on the other side of the planet. And, uh, didn't sleep, tried to sleep on the airplane, couldn't, super uncomfortable, even when we were in the quote-unquote comfort class, which is nice, it gives you uh, up to four extra inches knee room, which I can definitely use because I'm, I'm, you know, taller than average, but more specifically, I'm wider than average, and they don't really offer you any more hip room, so it was a tight fit, and you know, you've seen me and you've seen my wife and we were next to each other and so we were, you know, let's just say we were, we were snug. You've seen us in our queen bed. This was much smaller than that. Um, long story longer, I didn't really sleep. She was able to sleep a bit, but she was still pretty uncomfortable, but we endured that for 14 hours or so. And then we got here. And then right off the bat, we'd come and uh, get to the hotel that our guests, or excuse me, our hosts, uh, my my wife's brother, Chris, and his lovely wife, Monique, were kind enough to treat us to a hotel room um, so that we could kind of unwind for a few minutes and take a shower and get ready because they had some some special surprises for us. Um, and so we, you know, we did that. I took a nap for about an hour. Not nearly enough. I was still wrecked. But then, um, 
got showered and cleaned up a little bit better. And then they took us on a trip uh, to go whale watching, which seemed pretty cool to me initially. Whale watching, how exciting. And then we got out there and my body was not happy. First of all, I, we, it, the advice given to my in-laws was to dress warm because it could be cold out there in the open water. So I wore jeans and I wore a sweatshirt, and, uh, which I soon gave to my wife because I was too warm for that. But then it turns out the jeans were way too much as well. But I basically, once we really got out there, my body didn't want to be out there. It did not like it at all. And I've been on water. I've never been seasick on a cruise ship. I've been seasick one other time, and it was on a smaller fishing boat out on open water. So definitely the open water. The more I can feel that slosh, I guess, the more it gets to me. But the worst part about it was how hot it got. And I was just sweating from every single pore available to me perpetually for what felt like a day, but it was probably more like an hour. We're whale watching. We're seeing some whales. But I'm not reacting well at all. But cool thing is we did find some humpback whales. Saw probably maybe five or six of them. We also also saw some uh, some I think we called them fur seals. And I had to get the camera over to my wife though. And let her take pictures and video because I just all I could do was sit there and be sick. Throw up. I got close towards the very end. I got close. I I had the little uh, the little vomit bag out because I felt it like it was it was percolating, and then uh, then I managed to just sort of you know focus, concentrate, and keep it down, and then we got back, and uh, I felt a little bit better. Uh, it cooled off and not that it wasn't not that it was hot out here it was just really hot out there you're inside this boat and there's the windows and the sun's beating in and it was just uh kind of like a little like a greenhouse effect and they say you know you know, go out and go get some fresh air but i couldn't walk out to the back just because i was so woozy and wobbly um i mean i was i was pretty much on the verge of passing out for a good half an hour and um, 
So anyway, I felt bad that uh, that was a reaction I had to that, just because I mean I felt bad physically, but I felt bad for um, my in-laws and my wife having to worry about me. Um, but anyway, come back to the hotel afterward, and I'm just I'm just wrecked. I'm like I I, I need sleep and. The next plan for the evening, which was supposed to happen in an hour and a half, was to go on a dinner cruise around the harbor to see Vivid Sydney, which is this thing that they do for a couple of weeks where you know, they just light up all the buildings and it's beautiful and magical and um, and it's just supposed to be really exciting to see. And we were kind of looking forward to that, but the last thing in the world that I wanted to do was go back out on a boat. Uh, honestly, I just, I'm like, no, not, not now. I, I just, I can't, and I'm so tired, I'm so beat. I mean, you can see, look at my eye. Look at that. Look how bloodshot my eyes are. So unfortunately, I had to bail on the Vivid Sydney dinner cruise, opting to stay here in the hotel and try to sleep, try to feel better. And my wife, bless her heart, she was willing to stay here with me, but there's no way I could do that. I mean, she's been waiting to come here uh, for a very long time, and I just certainly would not keep her from doing that. That would just be ridiculous. So, so they're out right now having fun. I slept for a few hours, the nature called, so I got up and so now I'm just recording this because I've got a couple minutes and I'll soon be going back to sleep. Um, but after all that, I kind of realized I was starting to feel a little, a little peckish, a little hungry. You know, of course they went out to have dinner and I'm here and I'm not dressed, I'm not going anywhere. So I um, looked around and, and found um, found these Smith's chicken chips. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh no! I'm about to get busted. I'm about to get busted. You're supposed to be sleepy. Oh no! She's back. She's back. What the shit? I was just about to eat chicken chips. <gasps> oh no. I'm in so much trouble. You are in very much trouble. I was talking to the peeps. Oh, yeah? Yeah, letting them know. Letting them know what? That, how, what the day's been like. Oh. And then I was gonna, I was gonna eat this here chicken chip. I'm going to anyway. Give me one. I wanna try a chicken chip. I actually ate one before I started recording this. Oh, give me they one. They are good. Give me one. 
They are very, very, very good. Here, have a chicken chip. Go on, meet me halfway. She didn't like them. Bitches like mom it. I disagree. They're good. No. I like food. They're like mom it. Oh. They're not like vomit. Night one down. How'd you do? Mm, I slept okay, but I woke up with a bad headache. <laughs> it's a bag of medicine over there. <laughs> <laughs> I drove back. <laughs> Just in case. You never know what's gonna be needed. Yeah. Mobile pharmacy. And, and you know what? We brought all that, and we still had to go buy these for him. <laughs> Eyeballs, I think they're a little better this morning, though. Yeah. Hell asleep is still pretty bad in there, but... Yeah. yeah. The little mini fridge, every, I don't know, hour or so, it would go... <laughs> and make this, like noise like it was dropping ice cubes but there's no ice maker in it so i don't know why it was doing that the three windows here that we have the two on the outside are broken and they don't close all the way so we get to hear all the noise outside yeah but, there, there was almost a drunken brawl at one point yeah. that i could hear yeah but that being said I was up for two days straight, so I just crashed hard. <laughs> yeah, she was out. She slept through almost all of everything. I hit the pillow and was out cold. <laughs> she said a word to me. I remember she was she was going to sleep and or she was laying there in the bed, and I said something to her and she responded. And then, point three eight seconds later, she was in full sleep twitch mode. <laughs> You know the one I'm talking about where your hand starts twitching, your your eyes are going, and all of a sudden you're just, you're out. <laughs> That's it. So. Oh, Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> how y'all doing? Good. That's good. <laughs> I can't get on the clothes right now. <laughs> You're gonna have strong lips. Yeah, I don't have These are coming. the strongest lips. Look at them. So strong. You are very strong. <laughs> I look like I'm doing a Instagram filter <laughs> without Instagram. Yeah. Oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> <sighs> My mouth needs a nap. <laughs> Okay, so we've been, we've been walking around Sydney for a little while now, and we've, we've seen, sorry, I'm a little, a little flustered, we've seen our first glimpse of Australian wildlife. There's a koala bear right over here. Look. Sit. Look, get in there close. Wait, there's a platypus. It just holds so still. <laughs> it's just so still, it's amazing. I, I mean, I know that they, they move slowly, but I didn't realize it was that slowly, and look, over here, a kangaroo. <laughs> What's funny though about the, uh, the kangaroo, I always thought they were bigger. They always look bigger on the, like, the nature shows, but maybe it's the cameras they were using. I don't know, weird. Sort of like a rat. Maybe it's a rat, is that a rat? No, no, it's definitely a kangaroo. I don't know, whatever. Well, more to see. 
Uh, honey, do me a favor. Yeah. Try this drinking cup. <laughs> oh, uh, hit my head. <laughs> um, How are you supposed to do this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Apparently, we're not just down under, we're also backwards. <laughs> Back there, folks, you can see the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> and then hidden in this bloom of light behind the missus here is the bridge. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. It's called oh, there the it Harbor is. Bay Bridge. The Harbor Bay Bridge, there it is. I guess it was hiding behind the Opera House. Right. I'd rather see our smiling faces. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. We're walking around the botanical gardens yeah. waiting for our ride. <laughs> It's nice. Lots of cool birds and trees and, and flowers and stuff. Crazy people. crazy people jogging? Yeah. I don't mean they're jogging because they're crazy, but there's a guy who seems He's to be missing a, bit uh, off his meds, I think. a couple of, yeah, a few nuggets short of a happy meal if you take my meaning. Yeah, it's kind of uh, sad, really. But hey, man, he's, he's into fitness, so. <laughs> I'm into fitness. Just needs to... Fitness, whole pizza in my mouth. What, you got a pizza? I don't have pizza. <laughs> She's playing with my emotions. How dare she? All right, my arm's tired. <laughs> okay, a little ways back, we had to climb up this thing that was 50 steps. Somehow we went up like 57 of them, though. And then there was still a whole other section. And we decided to take the ramp, because holy crap. the orange. It's okay, you can have it. You want the orange? You take the orange. Oops, sorry. Are you supposed to? I don't have anything to give you. I keep trying to get good pictures of, hold on, of that but there's so much haze in the air, you'd think we were in Los Angeles. What are you gonna do? Okay, so we just stopped at Bondi Beach. There's a lot of flipping people here, so we're done at Bondi Beach. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bondi. Bye-bye, Bondi. Bye-bye, Bondi. Bye. Bye-bye, Bondi. Bye. Bye -bye, Bondi. <laughs>